what they be talking about. Fuck what they be talking about. I hear what they say. I hear what they say. Makes me know never mind. Yeah, man. Try to always be working. I'm always working. The uh my next project is called the Hot Boy Boogie Project. Uh, I believe that I'm next project. It's uh you haven't really started recording for it. Yeah, I'm sad. probably uh, I'm almost halfway through with it. It's complicated. It's gonna take. It's gonna take longer than I thought. Are you grabbing a lot of info from Cash Money? That's the thing. It's uh, it's my first original recordings, first ever written raps of mine in 1999. I recorded them in 99, 2000. Thought they was lost. Now my pops, I thought he recorded over the cassette tape. I did all this shit on the karaoke machine. Last year, right before my my birthday, my pops found this last soul cassette recording of me at the age of nine years old. It was like my first project. So I'm incorporating the shit from '99 with the shit with some new shit. Basically, me revisiting the old to make it renew. Because if you listen, if you listen to it, I'm trying to be a hot boy. All I'm talking about is murder, murder, shoot him up, bang, bang, kill, kill. It's not like Lil Mouse before Lil Mouse. <laughs> Younger than Lil Mouse is, or so was when he came out. I'm nine years old, killing a nigga every bar. So I'm incorporating that with the shit from this from 2015, the, the recent shit. And basically, I'm gonna have a project featuring myself. Like, uh, adjust the position. Yeah, okay. Because if you think about it, you would think that when you listen to the shit from '99, which I'm gonna release as a, in its raw form too, it's not the best music, but the message behind it and the subject of it is like youth and violence. That's all they talk about nowadays. You know, Chicago music especially, youth and violence. You would think that I ended up that I ended up growing into a rapper like my brother Gifts, but I, you know, I'm still more of a, you know, I ain't no, I ain't no gangster, you know, I, I'm more of a conscious dude, I guess, so I want to show people that you don't have to succumb to your surroundings, you know, I was rapping about the shit I seen on TV and outside, you know, 99, I'm going to school and I'm going with the beast, we went, we all went to beast, and we going to school, and you know, Robert Taylor was probably done, so, you know, I'm in the hood, my hood too, shit, it was both, I was just rapping about my, my surroundings, at an early age. But nowadays, I ain't rapping about I'm shooting up, killing them, bang, bang. So it's kind of hard to incorporate that old music, but I, I'm making it work right now. I'm making it work. What made you, what made you, you said you, you, you rapped about what you saw. What, what stopped you from going and saying, I'm going to be part of this? Uh, blessings. I was blessed, bro. I was always a smart kid. We always smart. We don't, I was a smart kid. I was a whip. Like, school was nothing. That, was a, that shit was just. Like, I went. That shit was just. I was not, me buying time throughout throughout my entire career, school career. Even when I went to college, that shit was just me buying so years of time. I just I just feel like everything happened for a reason, bro. I was meant to not go that route. My homies were going that route. Still my homies, we still respect each other, you know, lifestyle. And when we come together, we make that music that, that everybody can feel because everybody ain't even go, everybody didn't go that gangster route. Everybody, there is some every man like me, like Mark, that just, you know you affiliated, you know how the street go, but we ain't really deep in that at all. So I feel like I was, I went this route just because I know everybody didn't go that route. Everybody didn't go. And the hot boy shit, when I was rapping, it wasn't realistic for me. And then I realized I didn't want it to be realistic. Like, bro, I don't want to end up like, you know, you see, you still, these the niggas was rapping about going to jail for real. They was really going to jail. They stopped making music. You start noticing, damn, my influences ain't making music if these niggas are in jail. Over that cassette, I, could, I had the proof. Like, well, I, was, I, thought, I built my own studio. Right? Was, uh, engineered, wrote, produced my whole first project. So, 
there's not a soul that can say 15 years ago today was rap. There's nobody can say they was rapping that young and for this long period of time to have reached the success that I have. Like, I'm blessed. When I revisit that old shit, bro, and I re and I incorporate it, I will truly be making what I can say. What I feel blessed to do. I made it my bitch. And the soul has to do it. Uh, I make some, I make music for, for the every man, bro. Like the one that's going through the struggle, that's trying to figure it out. Uh, the stoners, you know, cheapest, the cool, you know, the laid back individuals that the critic that they critically think they way through life itself, bro. Um, I'm still finding myself, you know, still discovering myself. But in the same breath, I feel like right now I'm losing myself in a good way. I'm losing myself because I'm doing it for a greater good. To influence the people and to, you know, impact the culture. That's what I'm really about. And what I feel like I feel right now is just, I ain't quite mainstream because the mainstream gonna have to adjust to what I'm doing right now. Best year of my existence because of music. Best year, I, the best consecutive 365 days I've ever lived because of the music that I made. What you said reminded me of what Tech Nine said. Man, it's never had to adjust on me. Speaking of Tech Nine, boy, <laughs> truly one of my greatest influences. Tech Nine. I, I, I adjusted my name also the way Tech Nine did. I, he, He's influenced me in more ways than that. Bro. Like his music was amazing. When I first heard Absolute Power, shout out to me, KC Mo. When I first heard Absolute Power, bro, I knew I was like, bro, I don't have to sound like nobody. This nigga don't sound like nobody. Killing this shit. Love Tech Nine, bro. Yeah, I, I kind of follow after her, you know. Have you put out know, bro. I, I don't know. For me, it probably wouldn't be helpful. I ain't got the family. I do. I don't lie to myself. I ain't got the band for it. The Kendrick and the Drakes. They can do that, bro. And for me, it was like, ah, oh, that's a. What a. I don't want to say. What a uh, alternate marketing ploy. You know, like, that's not normal, bro. Like, them niggas pulled it off. It's, it seems so unfair. To a lot of my scenes, so unfair to a lot of people. Like, what if I was planning to drop my tape the day? Uh, well, yeah, the day the Pimper Butterfly drop, bro, I'd have been mad as hell. And that's a nod to Kendrick, you know. Kendrick, you know, speaking of Kendrick, that's my first cousin's first cousin. Like, I've been trying to link with him for a while. Anyway, rest in peace, Nolan. Same cousin that put me on some real hip hop. His first cousin made blood. Uh, I'd have been mad as hell if I was trying to put my project out that way. For me, it wouldn't benefit for them. They killed the game. I'd say a lot of people would. After, I guess, Beyonce did it and then Drake did it, or probably somebody in between did it, a lot of people start saying, oh, the, the, the time of release dates are over. Do you feel like people follow way too many trends because that was a trend that they, they was willing to follow that trend without the fan base? Yeah. No. If you ain't got a fan base, who you dropping it? Who you surprising? And you ain't surprising nobody. You got to get them something to anticipate when you ain't got it. Like them. You ain't on that superstar level, bro. You got to get them something to plan. So you got to have something to look forward to. You did. Well, I guess in a way, Drake and them, they did that too, though. Like they. No, Drake didn't even announce his was coming. Yeah. No. No. You're not going to benefit if you're not at that level. Superstar. It's not going to happen. Purposely pursuing further Cause I don't like wasting my time on my breath The words I speak become irreversibly universal Say I'm good as gone Can't get out my zone and ain't searching for no wormhole